Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on on the farm and we're doing some bush hogging. So today I just want to give you a beginner's tutorial on how I bush hog, how I bush hog. And people call it bush hogging around here, basically brush cutting, uh, mowing the fields with a uh, brush cutter back here on the tractor. So I want to talk you through what I do to prepare and what I do once I get out there and I start bush hogging, we'll throw the drone up in the air and let you see some beautiful farm footage. And we'll just take you around the tractor and do a generalized review of what to do in preparing to bush hog. Some of you guys might be new to farming, might be new to mowing, might be new to having land and have never done this before. So I'm gonna take you through, show you what I do and maybe you can learn a little something. So come on along today and we'll do a little bit of bush hogging. All right, America, baby, woo! Stony Ridge Farm Stony Ridge Stony Ridge Farm a quick disclaimer before we start the video. Guys, this is how I do it. This is what I do. If you have any input, suggestion, or comments that you might want to include, be sure and put them down there in the comments. Please, stop leaving condescending comments, all you tractor guys. I know anytime I post a tractor video, I'm bound to get a bunch of thumbs down from a bunch of know-it-all tractor guys. Guys, if you have some positive input, please put that positive input in. Otherwise, I'll just delete your comment. So just like your mama taught you, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Thanks. Woo! So first things first, guys, we're gonna make sure that our bush hog is lubricated. There are several lubrication points along this shaft right here. So we have a lubrication point at a constant velocity joint, which is a knuckle. It kind of runs together and spins. So we have two of those here on this shaft. One is under this case and one is right here. Sometimes they're a bit of a pain in the butt to find, but you need to put two or three squirts of grease in there just to make sure that you're well lubricated. If grease doesn't go in, your grease fitting may be clogged and you need to replace that grease fitting. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lubricate this little section right here. There's a grease fitting right there, and we're gonna lubricate our wheel, and we're gonna make sure everything's well lubed every four hours while we're mowing. So we'll carry our grease gun or we'll come back home every four hours while we're mowing and we'll make sure everything's well lubricated. Here on the Stony Ridge farm, we have 200 acres. Right now we have about 55 acres of mowing to do. This spring, it took me about 50 hours to mow that full 55 acres. And I use this Woods six foot bush hog. It's a Woods model BB72. It's more of a heavy duty brush cutting type bush hog. And basically we bought the heavy duty bush hog because we're out in fields that have overgrown with sticks and brambles and, bleh, and briars and stuff. And we needed something that was really heavy heavy duty. Now it's great for light duty also. It's an expensive bush hog. I think we paid around 1800 to 2000 bucks for this thing. It's got a five year warranty. It does a very good job. One thing I totally forgot to mention, when you're lubricating your moving parts, when you're lubing your shaft, be sure it's not moving, okay? Be sure you double check that. Make sure that thing's not spinning because you'll break some fingers or break your wrist or tear your hand off. Whenever I lubricate, I make sure that my bush hog is a little bit off the ground, probably about that far off the ground so that the blade will spin freely if I need to turn the shaft, okay? So I keep an old rag with my grease gun. That way I can wipe off my grease gun when I'm done and I wipe my fittings before I put any grease in them. Old rag. Always make it a point to clean your tools after you lube your shaft good practice. So let's get back to business here. Inspect. I inspect these shafts right here. I make sure that they're well lubricated. I make sure that everything looks right and tight, okay? I make sure that I'm well engaged here with my uh, PTO shaft. I also just do a quick visual inspection to make sure there's no crazy leaks or something that's rubbing or something like that that I don't know about. So another thing I do is just a general inspection all around the tractor. I'm gonna check the oil. I'm gonna make sure that none of these little plugs right here are popped loose from my hydraulic fittings, which one was popped loose. So what I do in that case is I keep a canister of this ultra duster stuff. I keep it with me. It works great. If I ever have any trouble with my little hydraulic lines popping loose, I can just blow them out with this. So it's like having a little compressor and I keep it in the tractor toolbox. Let me show you the tractor toolbox that I made. I painted it John Deere green, but basically this is a ammo can and we mounted it to the tractor because the tractor toolbox is so tiny a little piece of crap we needed something sturdy something we could hold pins and things that break and you need to keep extra pins on your tractor all the time 
because you never know when something might break and you don't want to have to walk back to the house. One thing you need to always, always, always do is check your oil. We always check our oil. I check it before I even fire the tractor up. I basically get right here, pull my dipstick out and inspect and see what we see. So it actually says to add a little bit. Surprise me, it actually tells me to add a little bit. We're getting close to time to change the oil. In fact, after I get done mowing this, we're gonna go ahead and change the oil. And this is a John Deere 5065 model tractor. It's a 5065E, it's a four wheel drive tractor. It's not all time four wheel drive. You engage it or disengage it. It's been a great tractor. Normally I get about mm, 12 hours out of a tank of fuel. I think it's a 17 gallon fuel tank, something like that. So it's been a great tractor. I really, really like it. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire our tractor up. Okay. I've checked the oil. Everything looks good there. We've put a little bit of oil in it. We're going to go ahead and get busy out here. We're going to start mowing. I'm going to show you how I adjust the bush hog to make it just right. I say bush hog, brush cutter, bush hog. I'm going to show you how I adjust it to get it just right to cut level. You want your bush hog to be level. That's a very, very important thing. If it's cutting and it's like this or like that, it's not going to cut right. It's not going to cut to the best of its ability. If it's level and just right, you can go a little bit faster and get your mowing job done quicker. <laughs> looking at next here is this portion right here and we want to make sure that this is nice and straight and level with the ground which it looks very good so we'll take you down and show you so that looks nice it's nice straight and level we'll go to the other side where there's an adjuster okay and you want to be on level ground for this so there's an adjuster right here every tractor has a different adjuster on it this John Deere just happens to have a little lever right there. So we'll go and we'll look at the other side and we'll make sure that the other side is within an uh, inch or a half inch of tolerance and nice and straight and level. We'll also check our wheel and make sure it's in the position that it's gonna be when it's mowing, meaning turned around, okay? So you wanna set the tractor down, get that wheel rolling just like it would if you were mowing with it and make sure it's nice and level and even. All right, so we're ready to mow. So let's go on and get, woo! So guys, when I'm getting ready to engage my PTO, which is right here, I go ahead and I slowly bring up the RPMs and I'll show you exactly how I do this. Each tractor you work with is going to be a little bit different on what RPM you need to run your PTO at. So my Massey Ferguson's a little bit lower RPM, this John Deere's a little bit higher. I'll show you what I do here. I ramp up my RPMs to about 1500, then I'll go over here, gently engage my PTO, then I'll bring my RPMs up to the point right here on the PTO. line the tractor up to mow and basically we just take our right side tire and line it up with the inside of where the grass is so basically your tire rides in the previous track and the bush hog is kind of offset just slightly so that it overlaps that little area and that you get a good consistent cut like back here well we've got the job done the place looks great the field looks great all the mowing was really good in a quick review you need to check the oil in your tractor, make sure everything's nice and lubricated, and figure out a system, a system that works for you in mowing, okay? Sit back on the tractor, enjoy your thoughts, just enjoy the beauty of the land and the sun, and watch out for bees. When you run over a bee's nest on the tractor, what you gotta look for is the next time you go around. So they won't get you on the first time normally when you first run over them, but you always gotta keep an eye out for bees. We have yellow jackets here, they call them wasp or yellow jackets or ground bees, but they will tear you up so keep an eye out for the bees don't get too close to the trees if you can help it mow up next to them but if you've got a side pipe go on the side 
that the side pipe is not because you can knock that side pipe off. Don't forget that safety is the number one priority when you're getting this done. Guys, I encourage you to do something good, do something nice that you can be proud of. Take care of your land and I appreciate you watching. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and down below here there's a little bell. Click that bell guys. If you haven't clicked it already, click that bell. It'll send you a notification when I put a new video out. And I'll appreciate it if you watch it. Check it out. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking. Okay? So thanks for coming guys. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer here on the Stony Ridge Farm in North Carolina. Thanks a lot. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids.